Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. We're just going to see what comes up. We are going to see what comes up. Well, we'll start right there, huh? We absolutely will. We have the Empress right off the bat. We have the Empress with the King of Swords. These two came out together. So we have the Empress with the King of Swords. She is very abundant. She's very comfortable. She's the goddess of love, right? She is. She's tender, loving care. She's unconditional love. She's beautiful. Um, she's glowing. She's very much at ease. Okay, now the Empress gives birth to a new life. She can create anything. She's a creator. She's a creator. Okay, then we have the King of Swords. This person is very intellectual. He is very smart. Uh, he, when he sees something he, that he wants, he goes for it. He's very decisive. He knows what he wants. Uh, he thinks about it and then he does it. Okay, he just, he just does it. He doesn't have any fear. Okay. So we, it look, I mean, we have. It looks like we have a masculine and a feminine here. Okay, the the empress is a very, very feminine energy. She is very motherly. She is domestic. She has plenty. She is down to earth. She's a natural. Okay, she demonstrates love. She has life experience. She does everything with love. So the empress is is a lover. She's a mother. Um, it looks like there is a, a prof this guy is professional. He does, he does, whatever he does, he does, um, he does it well. Okay. He does it well. He may be a little, um, quiet, but it's because he's observing. Okay. He's observing every situation. He's so intelligent. So he may seem quiet. He may seem aloof, but, um, it's because he's just trying to, he's investigating. Basically, he's an investigator, okay? He's hes thinking about things. So this guy investigates before he uh, makes his move. But once he's got the information, he makes that move. He does it. He doesn't, he is fearless. The King of Swords is fearless. He doesn't have a lot of fear. Um, now, that is the sword of truth, the sword of communication, so it looks like this guy, uh, he's got some sort of information. He's going to communicate. The sword is up. It looks like he's going to be sending out a message of some sort. There's a message that is coming from this King of Swords. Now, this King of Swords is a Libra, Gemini, or, a, or an Aquarius. Okay? This could be anybody in your life. This could be a, a father. This could be a husband. This could be a brother. This could be... Uh, anybody okay this could be anybody this is somebody that is very um when he speaks he usually in the upright he speaks the truth he speaks facts it's about facts but it's matter of fact he's very matter of fact he's going to be communicating something that is very factual and i think he's going to be communicating to this empress this empress could be a mother it could be about a mother. It could be about a wife. It could be about um, a birth even because she gives birth. But he's going to be communicating to her and it could be whatever it is. And he he's got the communication in his hand. So he's doing the communicating. Okay. He's doing the key. The communication is in his hands. Okay. She's sitting there. She's waiting. The Empress doesn't chase a man. Okay, so if you are that empress, you think you're the empress, I'm here to tell you the empress doesn't go begging a man for an attention. Not an empress. So anyway, this empress is going to be receiving a message, and, and it doesn't have to be a lover. The king of swords is somebody who is coming and there that is delivering a message based on some sort of fact, some sort of truth. This may be a, even a difficult message. Okay, so there is a message that is coming to this empress. Um, yep. 
Now, this Empress, this could be a Taurus, could be a Libra. It doesn't have to be. They're both, Taurus and Libra are both ruled by Venus. The Empress is ruled by Venus. It doesn't have to be. The Empress is a feminine energy that uh, is very abundant. She's abundant. She's valuable. She knows her value. She has life experience. She, typically, the Empress is an older woman because she's learned from life experience. She's learned. She's learned her value. Okay, she's she's she'll be fine just alone. Okay, she doesn't need to. She doesn't need. Okay, she doesn't need. She doesn't need. She takes care of her own needs. And she takes care of everybody else too. The Empress is a mother. She takes care of everybody else too. We got these ones that fell out. So let's let's. Let's see what we got here. Somebody's going to be this empress. This empress. She's just sitting here. She's going to be receiving a message from this person. Now, like I said, it doesn't have to be a lover. Whoever this person is, they're going to be delivering a very factual message based on some sort of truth. The emperor reversed. Now, interesting, because the Empress and the Emperor reversed. So this could be about a father. Okay, this message, and it, it's funny because it came, I'm going to lay these down like this because they, they were over here. So this guy is going to be delivering a message. And this message is, it could be about a father, it could be about a boss, it could be from somebody that has abused their power, it could be a business owner. Um, the, the emperor in reverse is a very masculine energy. Okay. This is a masculine. Could be an Aries. Doesn't have to be. Could even be a Capricorn. This is a very dominant man, male, masculine energy. This is a feminine. So we, we have this guy or person. This could be a guy or a girl, but I, I feels like a masculine to me, but whatever. This is a masculine and this is a feminine. But anyhow, this right here is this emperor We've been having the emperor in reverse quite a bit. This guy is going down. He's made a poor decision. He's um, done something wrong, obviously. Um, he has. Hold on, I gotta get my phone for a second. Um, he's. Hold on, I just gotta uh, send a message. Somebody's gonna be getting a message, obviously, because I just gotta stop right now and send a message. So somebody's going to message, get a message. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Okay. Um, so the emperor in reversed. This guy is going down. He's going downhill. He's mean. This guy is delivering a message about this person. Now, it could be about a father. It's about a husband. This guy is, is not healthy. Um, he's done something, maybe he's done something against the law. This is a business owner or a corrupt leader or something like that. We talk, we've been talking a lot about this guy. These ought to be interesting, huh? Definitely going down. I knew that he was. Eight of pentacles, losing money. This guy is losing money. He may be losing his business. He could be losing his job, uh, losing his stability, losing his security, falling down. Uh, no energy, not putting in effort, can't put in effort, losing. So we have a boss or a father that is losing their stability. They're losing money. They're, they could be losing their business, losing it all. Something isn't working out. Eight of Pentacles reversed and the Queen of Pentacles, or the uh, Eight of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles reversed. This is a loss, big, huge loss. So somebody is losing, they're losing their stability. And it's because, I mean, the emperor reverse does things in, in, in a legal manner. Okay, this person is very corrupt, very self-righteous, very entitled, uh, unreasonable, not interested in helping others, only, only cares about himself. Um, 
is only out for their own good. Somebody that is power hungry. Okay, so this is a very power hungry individual that is losing their financial stability. They're losing money. They're losing their security. And if it's not financial stability, it could be internal stability. Their health could be declining because I, I just feel like I need to tell you that. I just feel like for some of this person's health is declining as well. It feels like whoever this emperor is, they're going down. And they're going definitely down financially. They could be even, you know, it feels like there's some sort of illness here. It does. I mean, I have to be honest with you. They're losing ground, to put it that way. Uh, pentacles are about ground. They're losing their ground. Their life is being turned upside down. You notice these are all upside down. So if you think about, this could be an investigator. The queen, the king of swords can be an investigator. So I'm not sure if they've been under investigation and something is happening. That could certainly be the truth. That could be the case. That could be the truth. Okay. So something is coming out. Some sort of facts or truth or information is coming out about this emperor. And this emperor in reverse is, is, um, corrupt. Okay. This guy is corrupt. He's mean. He's self-centered. He's self-righteous. Uh, he's naive. He acts impulsively. He's very driven by society. He's driven by money. Okay. And he's losing. He's losing his ground per se. He is losing something. He's losing something. Something's being taken away. Something is being taken away. Whew. Four. I can't hold on to it. Can't hold on to his security. He was hiding something. This emperor in reverse was hiding something, but it's not going to be hidden. He was, he was holding on very stubborn, a miser, somebody that is very greedy. Oh my God. We have this greedy individual that's losing, he's losing his business because it's a business owner or he's losing money and it's, and it's, it's like dwindling. It's like flying right out of the bank account, flying. He's probably getting very upset. Stress kills, by the way. Some Because the emperor in reverse is somebody who is very, very upset. Now, this empress over here, she's sitting pretty. She's all by herself. She's going to be getting the message about this guy. Hmm. She's the goddess of love. Let's talk about her. Let's talk about this empress over here. Um, she's suffered because the empress has to go through pain to become the empress. Okay, to become that mother. Or to become that goddess, to become that the empress, you have to deliver pain. That's the fucking f truth. Okay? You don't become a mother, which the empress is the mother, without pain. You don't. Whether you deliver by C-section or you deliver vaginally or whatever, it is painful. So to become the empress, you have to go through some sort of pain. And whether it's a physical delivery or it's a painful situation, you don't become the empress until you have suffered some sort of pain. She's sitting over here. She's already delivered the pain. Doesn't look like she's in any pain now. She's healed. She's sitting pretty. Um, she is. She's. And it looks like she's detached from this situation. So this, she is. She's detached from this. But there, are, this is this is like your spy, right? This is like your spy or your monkey in the middle, or the investigator, or somebody that delivers the information to her. So this is there is somebody that's going to be delivering some information, or this could be the law, even the King of Swords can be the law, or an investigator, or something like that. King of Cups, King of Cups. Hmm, she may be. The Empress could be, I mean, this is a King of King Cups, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here, but this could be one person. I don't know. Maybe she's falling in love with somebody. This is love. This guy is offering love. This guy's looking for love, looking for romance, feeling very intuitive. The King of Cups is um, very charming, very romantic. She may be charmed. This guy is delivering some... Somebody is trying to win this empress over. She may have multiple options. Oh, my God. Okay. 
So yes, we have an empress here that has a couple of different options. The empress always has multiple options, right? We're changing the story. We want to talk about her. Over here, we got this emperor. He's losing ground. We went to talk about the empress. The empress has a couple of options here. She's sitting pretty. She has detached from this miser, this tyrant. She has detached. Now she has a couple of options. That's the fucking truth. Okay. <laughs> Looks like she's going to have to make a choice, doesn't it? What do we got more? What else do we have for this empress who is detached from the situation? Ooh, the king of cups probably is being fake. So if you're dealing with this king of cups, he may not be emotionally available. He may present himself to be a lover, but he probably is not emotionally available. So this empress needs to use her intuition and use her past life experience to investigate whoever it is that she's dealing with and, and, and really listen, really, really listen because you... You know, you're probably, the, if you're dealing with this guy, this guy, because I want to clarify, this King of Cups, probably it does, is not emotionally available. He, he might not have good intentions. He may talk the talk, but he doesn't have the best of intentions. So that's a message that somebody needs to hear. The, the Ace of Cups reversed is uh, a lack of, of love, okay? There's, it's not, things are not going to get better. They're not going to grow, okay? And it's a very emotional, it could be a very emotional situation, okay? We, we may have um, a King of Cups that is coming in to offer some sort of emotional support to this Empress or to something like that or some sort of emotion, there's some sort of emotion that is, and it, it, it's like, I feel like it, 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 he's offering, it feels like it's kind of genuine, but it's not. These, these are tears. Okay. The ace of cups in reverse are tears. It's tears. It's crying. Somebody may end up crying and it could be over a loss. So I'm wondering what the hell is going on. This empress, you know, people, they flock to the empress. People flock to the empress in the time of need. She she has that aura about her, that energy about her, that when she needs help, people come. They just show up. So I feel like we have an empress here that is going to have a couple of people that are uh, trying to uh, communicate with her. They're trying to communicate with her. And it, and it could just be, be because there's a, I don't know, this could be something sad. The Ace of Cups reversed. There could be a, there could be a sad situation here. This is a huge loss over here. I mean, it is a huge loss. I don't know if it's a loss of a husband or a loss of a father or a job or whatever it is. This is a huge loss. It is. And this could be somebody coming in to comfort this queen. She's the queen of all queens. But there's something going on here. There is something going on here. Eight of Cups. Now that is uh, walking away. Walk away. Walking away from emotionally unfulfilling situation. I feel like somebody has walked away or somebody's leaving. And they may be leaving without saying goodbye. Something like that. Somebody is leaving without saying goodbye. And perhaps there is some communication coming in from from somebody that uh, left without saying goodbye. Or something like that. This is weird. We have an empress that is about to receive some heartfelt communication. It is going to be very emotional. It is going to be very emotional. This is emotions. The Ace of Cups reverse is emotions. It is. It's shutting down. And emotional blockages. Loss of emotional content. It's crying. You know, crying. Somebody may have left. I don't know if it's this, this husband or the father or the boyfriend or whatever. May have left, you know left somebody in a, a you know a situation where they're sad and somebody is coming to comfort this empress hmm.
Yep, there's a new prospect. Five of Cups reverse. So this, this, there is after a loss, there's beginning to realize that there's a new prospect. There's a new opportunity for love. There is a new opportunity for love here. So the Empress is getting a new opportunity for love. Which is, and she's probably, I don't know, she probably doesn't want it. With that Ace of Cups reverse, she's, she's probably just happy with where she's at. She's very comfortable. It's funny because at the beginning I said she doesn't need it. She doesn't need it. She's tender, loving care. She's very nurturing. She offers love. She's unconditional love. Somebody sees it, obviously. And they are, and if you look, they're headed towards her. So there is somebody that is headed towards this empress. They're going to offer her some sort of heartfelt something. Communication. Something from their heart. And, I, and there's probably going to be some tears that are shed. So there's some sort of tears that are shed. There's no doubt about it. There's tears shed over a goodbye. There is. There could be some information coming in that somebody has left. They've left. They've left an unemotional uh, a situation. They've left a situation. You know what I mean? There could, that could be the, the news. Somebody's delivering some, that could be the news. This could be, I don't know, this emperor, this emperor reversed is a, is a tyrant. This is a tyrant, but this tyrant or this, this, um, individual is losing their ground. They're losing their stability. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is somebody that um, is very factual herself. She delivers the facts. She tells the truth. She sees things clearly. She's harsh, she's independent, she's assertive, and she is intense. She is going to be now I can they say she, but this could be this and this is an energy of cutting through the bullshit. Now we have these clouds, people in the clouds. This is like, this is like, if you notice these people in the clouds, like somebody that has passed away, somebody that has passed away is delivering a message. This person has received the message. feels like there's some sort of karma here. Sees the truth. Somebody is seeing the truth. So anyway, I feel like coming up, we have an emperor, which is a father, a husband, a boss, a masculine energy, a boyfriend, whatever, that is losing his ground. Somebody is seeing the truth. They are seeing the facts. They have been given the message probably from somebody that has passed away. This is a very highly intuitive individual. It really is. Very in tune. Very sees things absolutely clearly. 
We have somebody here that knows. They've seen something. And now this person is going down. This person may even tell. This person may be the one that gets the person in trouble. This could be your tattletale, per se. We do have somebody here that is about to reveal something about this emperor that takes him down. On the mean, the meantime, we got an empress that has detached herself from the situation. She's she's left. Now there's somebody coming in with an offer of love. There's probably two people. Good luck. <laughs>